Yankees fans, can you hear the drum beats of war? The Red Sox have really ethered themselves releasing Hanley Ramirez because now Dustin Pedroia was placed on the disabled list. And let's not forget to mention Mookie Betts. Both players placed on the 10-day disabled list. Mookie Betts being out is huge for the Yankees. We all see now that they can't beat good teams. The Red Sox all season long have been facing subpar teams. Now that they have the chance to face a good team like the Astros, we are seeing that they can't beat them. And Mookie Betts, who has been carrying the Red Sox, let's say now, in my opinion, the Red Sox are going to tank three games behind the Yankees until Mookie Betts comes back. And Dustin Pedroia, even though he's on the 10-day disabled list, it might be longer. His knee that he has surgery on has become injured again or inflamed. So that's similar to the injury that Greg Bird had. I'm guessing uh, scar tissue is building around that knee, and he's possibly going to have another surgery. And I believe yesterday was the day that the Red Sox officially released Hanley Ramirez. So that move right there, Hanley Ramirez, the Yankee killer, the player that really carried them into the playoffs last year who had an amazing series versus the Astros, he is not on the Red Sox anymore. So that move by the Red Sox is going to come back to haunt them. So we all saw Sonny Gray bounce back, but you can't really take that store into consideration due to the fact that the Baltimore Orioles are 17 and 30, something like that. What's their uh, record right quick? 17 and 40, it's worse. So really, yeah, Sonny Gray had a bounce back game, but let's see if he can stay consistent. Consistency is the key word. So if the Yankees rotation can stay consistent while Mookie Betts is out, look for the Yankees to bury the Red Sox about three to five games until Mookie Betts comes back. Mookie Betts is the Red Sox. Besides J.D. Martinez, that's the Red Sox right there. He has been carrying the Red Sox all season long. And as we see now, they can't beat great teams. Also, Chance Adams, if you're paying attention to the Yankees' form system, went around over five innings and struck out seven batters and allowed zero runs. So if you are the Yankees, do you consider calling up Chance Adams for that doubleheader that is coming up? If I were the Yankees, I will call somebody from the farm system. Obviously, they are. But I will call up a Chance Adams. Let's see what you got, Yankees. Let's see what you have in the farm system. Maybe you won't have to give up that many prospects. I know the Yankees are saving their so-called top prospects for trades and not wanting to call them up. So let's say they get into a slump or struggle on the major league level they're not as valuable but take that chance with a chance adams let's see what he is made out of so yankees fans the trade deadline is about two months away but if you're a pitcher it's about a month away when you add up all your starts let's see what the yankees rotation can do before the trade deadline and like always yankees fans this has been felix from nynews.com share like and subscribe i will check you out next time